Hey YouTube, RPM out of here. Got another video for you. I'm just sitting here at work and was watching some videos and I watched one on the micro stamping that's going to be happening in California and the two Ruger and I can't remember the other one that, that bailed out of California because of it. And I understand what the politicians are doing. You know, if they can't ban the guns, they're going to regulate them out of existence. They're going to make it so hard on gun manufacturers and you and I, the gun owners, they're going to make it so exorbitantly expensive to own, purchase, register, do all this stuff with our firearms and especially the manufacturers you know and now they're they're requiring the micro stamping and i watched an interview with ruger the ceo of ruger you know and he said he they can't afford to do that because they change their design so often it could be the same gun and they change one little thing of it so they go out to the floor and change the manufacturing of it but the way the law was written that once they do that, that becomes a new gun. It becomes a new design. It's not, they consider that not the same gun. So if it was micro stamped before, now it's got to be registered micro stamped again and it's got to be paid for. And, you know, that's, keep in mind, that's, that's what they're trying to do is to regulate the Second Amend Amendment out of existence. And on the micro stamping, what I think is stupid and asinine and why, you know, I can say this, why these politicians th think that this is a good idea, I can pretty much answer my own question because they don't think. They, they're passing laws because this is what they want to do. They want to get rid of guns, especially in California, New York, Chicago, or Illinois, um, you know, and, and sweeping across the, the states. But what, you know, the idiots can't sit and go, okay, this, uh, let's see, the, the criminals can't file off the micro stamping on the firing pin or the hammer. Um, and the other thing I was thinking, you know, what's to keep a, a, someone set on committing a murder, a criminal, excuse me, um, from going to a shooting range or, or going to some place, any place. Uh, I go out in the woods and shoot, and I try to pick up all my brass, but maybe maybe I missed a couple, and, and say this micro stamping is going on. These, these guys go to the shooting ranges, or out where people shoot, and they scoop up a handful of uh, 9 millimeter brass, okay, you know, that's been shot by somebody else and has a micro stamp on them, and takes their 9 millimeter, goes and commits a murder, and then throws this brass they picked up down on the ground, you know, and, and the cops show up and they go, oh, you know, here, here, here's the evidence, you know, and then uh, maybe they could put two and two together, go interview the guy that, that, that this registered micro stamped ammunition is linked to, and the guy can convince them, hey, it wasn't me, so they must have picked up my brass, whatever, you know, but now days and days have gone by and the criminal has gotten away with, with murder. I mean, you know, it's, it's just, why are we, the gun owners and the people in the gun community, the smartest ones out of this bunch? We, you know, I can sit here and figure out why this isn't a good idea, but all these, these gun grabbers and, and anti-gunners are, are going, oh my God, that's, that's brilliant, that's a great idea, you know, we got to do that. You know, they, they, God, we got them. We, you know, we can be out there arresting everybody. We, you know, they'll leave the proof on the crime scene. They'll be in a hurry after killing somebody or using it in a crime. They can't pick up all the brass and, and my God, this is, this is going to work, you know, but us is the, the smart people in this fight. And it is a fight for our gun rights can sit there and go file the pin, pick up brass and leave it on the crime scene. Um, Registration leads to confiscation. You, know, you guys are idiots. I mean, you know why? It, it just boggles my mind. So that's, that's kind of my rant on 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 this whole thing. And you know, it's just it's just stupid to me that that the politicians can think that this is a great idea. And and another thing that somebody brought up is 
you know, I've seen a lot of interviews with, about the NRA and, and the, the gun community. God, you guys won't give an inch, you know, when we say, no, we're not, we don't want registration. We don't want unilateral uh, background checks, you know, or mandatory background checks. You guys just won't give. And, and you got to look at these people and go, you know what, we're, we're done giving. We already have background checks. We already have some states where you can't, where you have to register your firearms. We, you know, when I get a CCW, I got to register with the, with the government, you know, and they crawl up my ass for 45 days. Um, you got, you know, just so many things we've already given. You know, our Second Amendment doesn't say we have to go through all this shit to have a firearm, you know. But these people go, well, God, you guys, you just won't budge. You won't give an inch. You know, you got to look at those people in the eye and go, we've, we've given enough. You know, if you can't deal with that, you know, the background checks we got to go through to get firearms right now don't work. You know, why why do you want to pass another law on a broken system? You know, why won't we give? Because you're not prosecuting the people that fail the background checks. You're not doing your part. You want us to do our part. We have. We've given in, you know. But you won't do your part, but yet you want to pass more laws and regulations against us. So, no, we're not budging. This is my Second Amendment, my right to protect me and my family, and I'm not giving it up. So, you know, those people that, that come, that even dare say that to me and say, well, you know, you guys just aren't, aren't giving enough. No, we, we've given plenty, you know, deal with it. So, anyway, sorry about that little rant, but the micro stamping is what I want to talk about, you know. Why can't they figure this shit out, that, it, that it's going to be so easy to get past? you know but again being the smart gun owners we are we understand why they're doing it it's it's their their bureaucracy and they're they're just trying to phase out the second amendment by by making it extremely uncost effective for us so anyway thanks for watching me bitch for a few minutes uh i got a little bored here at work so i thought i'd throw this video out and uh, if you got any thoughts, leave your comments down below if you agree with me. If you don't, hey, I don't care. You know, get on my channel. And, and I, I, I've had enough crappy content comments on some videos I've done, and it doesn't faze me a bit. I, you know, I really don't care. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to have a debate. I love debating people on, on the gun control issue. Um, you know, like I said, a lot of people think that us gun people are just stupid hicks that don't know any different all we want to do is have our toys and fun well yeah all we want to do is have our toys and fun and to pierce morgan why do we need an ar-15 because we want one why does anybody need a car that goes 150 miles an hour in the speed limit at the most is 75 because they want one that's why i want an ar-15 so pierce morgan f you that's why we want our ar-15 Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you.